To balance the net ionic equation for Ca plus H2O, we're talking about calcium plus water, we'll use these rules here. First thing we need to do is write the balanced molecular equation, and this is the molecular equation. If I'm looking at this, I could put it 2 is my coefficient in front of the water. That looks like it balances the equation, the molecular equation. Then I need to write the states. Calcium just by itself, that is a solid. Water, we know that's a liquid. And then calcium hydroxide, we probably should look that up on a solubility table to see if it's soluble. So I'll pull a solubility table in here, and calcium's right here, hydroxide's right here. If I go over, I see SS. That means it's slightly soluble. Most of it's not going to dissolve. And because of that, I'm going to say that this will be a solid. I'm going to put an S after it. Sometimes you'll see people split this up, but if it's only slightly soluble, that means most of it's at the bottom of the beaker or the test tube when this reaction takes place. So solid's probably more appropriate. We have that. When we look at the hydrogen, hydrogen, that's a gas, so we're just going to write G after that. Now that we have our states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. When you look at this, there are no strong electrolytes. We have a solid, a liquid, a solid, and a gas. We don't split those up in net ionic equations. So essentially, this is the net ionic equation for Ca plus H2O. I'm going to do this again, but this time I'm going to treat this as it's a strong electrolyte and it's aqueous. You'll see this sometimes. I don't really think that it's necessarily fully appropriate, but if you see it, this is how you would do that. We'll get rid of our S and we'll say that it is a strong electrolyte and that it's aqueous. If we do that, we can look at the ions. If we're saying it's aqueous, it's going to dissociate calcium on the periodic table. That's a 2 plus. OH, that's the hydroxide ion, that's a 1 minus. So we could then rewrite the equation and split this up into its ions. And that would look like this. We'd have our calcium solid plus our two waters, which those are the liquid. And then we would split this up into calcium 2 plus, which we would call aqueous, plus OH minus, which is also aqueous. And keep in mind we have two of these hydroxide ions, plus we have the H2. That's a gas. We don't do anything with that. So you could write this as your net ionic equation. You can't really cross out any spectator ions because there's nothing that was the same on both sides. So this would be your total and your net ionic equation if you assume that this is a strong electrolyte and it dissolves completely in water, which it doesn't. Anyway, this is uh, one possible way you might see this as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.